Oh. 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 That's not good. It's not why you tune in here to see me lose fish. Well, well, maybe you do. Oh, I don't like doing that. Always throw back in that area. Sometimes they don't know that they just lost a fish now. I got a log. There we go. What we got here? Mm, another good one. <laughs> just another pig smallmouth. Oh. That's two fish I lost in a row. It's more like it. I mean, this is this is getting to be like a, a facts of fishing episode. I mean, up until this point, I've been catching them. It's been easy. Uh, we've had the thrill of victory. Now, as you're accustomed to in all facts of fishing shows, time for the agony of defeat. Here's a whole three dollars of technology that way too many anglers don't use a hook sharpener. When you're fishing around a lot of rocks like we are here today, I mean, your hook's gonna rub up against some of those rocks and get a little burr, and you don't wanna be losing big mama. And there's some debate, you talk to some anglers, they always tell you to sharpen down. Some say sharpen up. But one thing I do know is whatever direction you go, go one direction. Don't be scrubbing back and forth. Because what that does is heat up your hook and you lose your temper. You never want to lose your temper. There we go. Oh, we ate it. Come here, dude. Good thing I sharpened that hook, huh? I'm gonna get you. Come here. Mm. I tell you what, I honestly believe without, you know, having a properly sharpened hook, I would have lost that fish.